Tackling a project with no tools or your tools highly disorganized can be very difficult. Choosing a retirement community or a manufactured home in Florida is no different. Wouldn't it be nice if somebody had a toolkit that covered everything? Stay tuned. Finding the right Florida retirement community and deciding what's best for you in a manufactured home can be a daunting task. All the information you need is pretty much out there on the internet, but how do you find it and how do you organize all those links? In this video, I will show you a toolkit we put together on our website for researching the best Florida retirement community and finding a manufactured home that meets your needs. As a bonus, we're going to talk about one of my favorite hobbies once you get a home, growing pineapples. Hello, I'm Russ Watson. I created Florida Manufactured Home Living to enrich the lives of manufactured homeowners and educate the public on its benefits. Let's dig in. Please leave any questions or thoughts on additional tools needed in the comments section below. Welcome to the website. The subtitle says it all. Live your retirement dream in Florida. In the communities you see here, hundreds are already doing just that. The pictures you see here represent a small number of the activities enjoyed by residents in these communities. But we all have unique dreams and each community is different. So we developed our buyer resource page to help you narrow down the choices. The first tool in our toolbox is a discussion of how manufactured homes are bought and sold. Scrolling down the page, we come to links to and a description of the book I have written to guide you in the process of selecting a community. To the right, is a downloadable lot rent worksheet for community comparison. To the right of that, a complete list of Florida land lease parks is available in PDF or Excel format, allowing you to locate parks by area and size. Unfortunately, co-op and condominium data, as well as subdivision data, are much harder to acquire. We are working on co-ops at this time, and once you've narrowed down your interest to a particular county, you can request a list of co-ops in that county here. As we move down the page, we come to some very useful links. Four state organizations are listed. The Federation of Manufactured Homeowners of Florida was formed in 1962 to represent manufactured homeowners in communities. The Florida Manufactured Housing Association represents manufacturers and owners. It's a great source of information on manufactured homes. There are two organizations that represent resident-owned communities in the state. A list of Florida airports is also provided. Weather and climate play a major role in most people's decision regarding where they want to live in Florida. There are a number of useful links here. The Weather Atlas discusses the climate in Florida and gives a month-by-month -month summary across the state. U.S. Climate gives us annual data city by city for all of Florida. Let's take a look at a popular city, Bradenton. The month-by-month -month temperature and precipitation data make city-to-city -city comparisons easy. Next, let's look at a tool to compare cost of living between cities. We'll compare East Coast Melbourne, Florida to the West Coast city of Bradenton with an example income of 30000 We see that overall Bradenton is 4.1% more expensive. A closer look shows that food costs are higher while utilities are lower. This is an example of the large range of data available on this site. Next up is a list of agencies with extensive mobile and manufactured home coverage. 
Be sure to use the slider on the right to see them all. We'll look at Four Star Homes as an example. As you can see, Four Star has locations across Central Florida. Their website allows you to do property searches as well as having featured listings. Whether you're looking for a luxury home in a resort park or a fixer-upper requiring very little capital, these agencies are a great place to start. Scrolling down, we come to major park owner listings. These provide opportunities to get glossy, upscale views of the parks and resort lifestyle these corporations promote. The online listing services are the place to go for comparisons. MH Village is the largest and has a great number of resources available to buyers. Let's say you are interested in the Bradenton area. Just put it in the search and see what's available. Wow, 94 homes to look at and compare. That would keep you busy for a little while. You can sort and filter the results too. What about in resident owned communities or subdivisions where you're really looking for real estate? Then something like Realtor.com might come in handy. Indian Wood Golf and Country Club is a nearby ROC. Wow, four homes available there. It lists the selling agent, the price, some basic specs, and a handy contact button. Online ads are private Facebook groups which you may join for free. Here you will find deals on mobile and manufactured homes for sale by owner, broker, dealer, and real estate agent. You can also state what you are looking for and sellers will respond. Start poking through these sites and you will continuously be saying, wow. If you want to feel like a kid in a candy store, click on these links. We will have a lot more on new homes in upcoming videos. According to the Florida Office of Insurance Regulation, there are about 200 companies engaged in the business of insuring mobile homes in Florida. Listed here are some of the largest. Dealing through a local agent with experience in mobile homes and access to many different lines of insurance is my recommendation. Here I've listed several I'm familiar with. Please share any with whom you've had a good experience in the comments below. To help you shop for the best financing, we list institutions that are making loans on manufactured homes. Mobile homes built before June 76 are much harder to finance, other than through personal loans. New home dealers often have financial lenders they work with as well. You can read more in the discussion about financing your home. Further down the page, we have links to helpful articles and a simple loan calculator. That about wraps it up for the new buyer tools in our toolbox. We are always adding to and sharpening our tools, so be sure to check back in the website frequently. You'll need more resources once you settle in, so be sure to hit the subscribe button to see future videos on the tools we'll be adding for the homeowner. Now, let's take a look at growing pineapples. I've been growing pineapples around my homes for quite a few years now. I grew all those that you see here. Start with a fresh pineapple whose leaves appear healthy. Cut the top off as soon as you get home and set the pineapple aside to continue ripening if necessary. Apply a root hormone, submerge in water, and set by a window for a few days until roots appear. Then just plant in your garden. They seem to like the same fertilizer as rhododendrons. About a year and a half later, this is how you will be celebrating. If community living interests you, I suggest you review my series of videos on selecting a manufactured housing community. Just click on the shortcut. Please give us a thumbs up if you found this video helpful it really helps the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.